Well, welcome to another installment of our Vantage West video blog. I'm AJ Hazzy, and I want to talk to you today about the importance of pricing your property right at the outset. Now, anybody that's been a client of mine or has followed my post knows how much emphasis I put on pricing the property right out of the gates. Now, there's three major reasons why we want to do this. Number one, your property is most likely to fetch top dollar if it sells quickly. Now, most people know that, but number two, buyers are going to shop around and they're always going to be on the hunt for the best value in their price range. So if we're priced a little bit too high, all we're really doing is serving those other listings to make them look better by way of comparison. And number three, your property is going to need to be appraised. And when a buyer puts in an offer that gets accepted, they have to go to their bank and their bank will request an appraisal. If that appraisal comes in too low, then we've got a major problem on our hands. In fact, that's exactly why we've started to consult our clients on getting an appraisal prior to taking a listing. Now, there's three really good reasons that you want to do that. Number one, it's a marketing tool. When we get to price the property below the appraised value, like if we got an appraisal for 250 and we price it at 249000 we get to use that as a great marketing tool. Number two, it's a fantastic negotiating tool. To have an appraisal that we can reference during a negotiation is going to help us protect your hard-earned equity. And number three is an insurance policy against that exact scenario I was just telling you about where the bank's appraisal doesn't come in. So by being able to show the bank that we already have an appraisal, we can save deals. So ultimately the advantages to pricing a home properly and even getting a pre-listing appraisal far outweigh any of the disadvantages. But in the end, the choice is yours. A realtor's job is to facilitate the market. And one of the amazing things and tools we have now through technology is to actually be able to monitor the market's response to your listing in real time. We can see just how many realtors sent it to their clients. We can see how many of those clients marked it as a home they'd like to view. And we can even see how many of those clients marked it as a favorite. Now, by being able to look at that, that allows us to stay way ahead of the curve, make any kind of adjustments that we need to protect our listings from going stale. Because as we know, ultimately, our negotiating position weakens as time goes on. So I want to make sure that nobody's adopting the old school mentality of, I can always start high and come down later. Ultimately, that's only going to take money out of your pocket. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Hope that answers some questions for you. As always, I'd like to invite you to reach out to us either by phone, email, text, Facebook, however you like. And if you'd like to check out what your home's value is right now, there's a little house values section on our video blog where you can click and get the over the net home evaluation to see the up-to-date value of your home. Hope you found lots of value in this and we'll see you in a couple weeks.